Morning, you guys welcome to the video I just wanted to say I appreciate everyone for the support and all of the nice comments and stuff on the last vlog it seemed like a lot of you were excited and gave me a ton of ideas and were just very open to the idea of me doing this a little bit more and so that that's just always makes me feel nice it makes me feel like okay cool uh, people are actually interested in seeing this um, but today we are going to be starting out by going to the gym. We're going to be doing the 8 o'clock class. So basically every morning for me, I do some type of activity, whether that's CrossFit, um, which is what we're doing today, or just a regular like bodybuilding session at 24 Hour Fitness, or I might run in the morning. But it's pretty much, there's always something that I do. For me, if I don't move in the morning, it's really, really hard for me. It just, it just really helps my brain. It helps me get the day started. And so pretty much every morning starts with a workout and today will be no exception. We're going to be, going to be doing the eight o'clock class. I've been trying to wake up a little bit earlier, like today we got up at six, which I know for a lot of people that's not very early, but for me, it's pretty early. <laughs> and so uh, we're gonna drink this coffee and then go to the gym soon. So we are at the gym now, and like I said last time, this is an outdoor area. It's kind of nice because it's just, uh, it's not very loud out here, so I can do these little things. So um, today's workout is actually, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. So it's a chipper, which is basically you work your way through movements. Um, there's no like rounds or anything, you just do it one time, right? So that's the explanation. So today's workout is 100 double unders into 80 kettlebell swings, which is, those are going to be the American kettlebell swings. Those are the ones you only really see in CrossFit where you kind of swing it all the way over your head. You don't really see those anywhere else. Um, 60 burpees, 40 toes to bar, and then it ends with another 100 double unders. So a lot of cardio this morning, and then there's some accessory work after, afterwards. We'll see if we do that, but that's the workout. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of cardio. Um, the toes to bar, I think I'm going to be able to do those. Last time I did a vlog, I my shoulder was giving me some problems, but luckily it seems to be um, seems to be that it's feeling a lot better. And so, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. We're gonna warm up and then let's do this workout. <sighs> so, for those who don't know, I uh, I hurt my back pretty bad in 2020, like the first I don't know, the first few months in the pandemic. And I actually I had a vlog where I hurt my back. I was just so happy to be vlogging that day. But basically since then, I haven't done CrossFit very, CrossFit very much. Um, there's a multitude of factors, but I think one of them is just genuine fear. Like it, when I hurt my back, it was really bad and it sucked really bad. And I was very limited in what I can do. And I don't want to go through that again. And so the amount of CrossFit that I've done since then has been very limited. But the past few weeks I've been trying to add in like one to two sessions a week, mainly just so I can like, I, I like I like the community, but I also like the type of workout that it is. It's like, usually it's a lot more like intense than if I were to do like a bodybuilding session or even if I run. And so I've been trying to add it in like once or twice a week and it's been fun. Uh, it's still relatively new for me, but I really enjoy it. As I always say with CrossFit, like, I'm not one of those people that like, you have to do it. If you want to do it, give it a shot. If you don't want to do it, I understand it's not for everybody, right? And so that's kind of where I'm at. But it's been fun to, to add it into my uh, routine again. All right, I got my jump rope, kettlebell. I think it's 52 pounds is what we're using. We'll be doing the toes to bar right here. And so pretty much everything will be in one, like, one spot for the workout. And I'll be doing burpees like, I don't know, like right here and uh, <laughs> We'll see how those go, but it should be fun. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> okay, 60 burpees now.
Okay, 60 burpees done. Now, my least favorite part, which is gonna be the toes of bar. Let's see how this goes. Just 100 double unders left, and then we're done. We're home now. Sadly, my camera died, so I wasn't able to film the rest of it, but you guys saw pretty much the entire workout. Now I'm gonna take a shower, because your boy is very sweaty. If you guys wanna say hi, say hi to Bailey. She is, she is, pouting right now because normally I take her on a W-A-L-K right now, but it has been so hot here that it is just, just not possible until basically nighttime. So like right before the sun goes down. So she's like annoyed with me, but she'll get over it. Shower time. All right, we're all clean. I wanted to take a second to say thank you to today's video sponsor. Uh, today we're actually working with a company that I've been, I've been using these for about a month now and I'm super excited to show you guys them. So if you've seen me in any of my workouts, you know that I sweat an absolute ton. And one thing that I could be better at is hydrating or drinking enough water afterwards. And so that's where this come in. This is Element and it is basically, it's an electrolyte drink mix. Um, and they actually taste pretty good. Uh, my free, three favorite flavors are this watermelon one, grapefruit, and then citrus salt. Um, they come with a thousand milligrams of sodium in them. You got 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 grams of 60 milligrams of magnesium. And I just like to throw it in one of my shaker bottles after any workout. So after a run, especially because of how much I sweat, but after pretty much any workout, I'll just drink one of these because of how much I sweat and how much salt and sodium. And uh, I just, I lose so much because I sweat so much and I definitely feel better using these and they actually taste pretty good. Like they're not bad. They, they are salty because it's a lot of it is salt that's going in there. Um, it's not iodized, but I've been liking them. So if you do want to check them out, if you're someone that feels like maybe you could improve your hydration or you just struggle with drinking enough water, um, this might help you. There's actually going to be a link down in the description where you can get a sample pack for, for free with any purchase that you make. Um, there's a couple different options. I would recommend getting like a variety pack so you can see what you like. Again, these are my three favorite flavors, but there are some like spicy ones that are like, there's like a habanero something or other. I tried one of them that was spicy and I wasn't a huge fan. It like hit my throat and I was like, uh, uh, uh. it was a little too much. Um, but there's also a chocolate one that I kind of want to try that people put in like hot water and it's supposed to be, tastes pretty good. So I kind of want to try that one, but these are the three that I've been using. I think today I'm going to use grapefruit. Uh, but yeah, check it out. There will be a link in the description. I appreciate Element for sponsoring this. And hopefully if you check them out, you like them um, because it's been helpful for me, but let's do it. I think I just spilled on myself. Killing it. All right, the element is all drank. And uh, if you guys remember in the last vlog, we didn't have a working microwave. Well, we got one now. So we got some good news. That's some good news for us. But that means we can make our oatmeal like normal, which is how I like to make it. So we're gonna pour 80 grams of oats here in this bowl. I've had this bowl for I think like 10 years, I don't know, something like that. Eight years maybe, and uh, I still use it pretty much every single day. Um, I keep the, uh, the oats are pretty simple, so I'll pour 80 grams in this bowl, fill it up with water like that. You can't see that, but there's water in here, okay? And then we throw it in here for two minutes to start. And after the two minutes is over, it's pretty hot. I'll dump some frozen berries in there, stir it up, throw it back in the microwave for two minutes. So now the berries are not frozen and the oatmeal is hot. And then I'll throw in protein powder, which lately I have been using this gold standard way that I get from Target. Um, I don't know, it's pretty good. It's pretty st standard, you know? So that, I'll throw in some salt, we'll throw in some peanut butter, and then I will throw in some sweetener. And then I've been throwing yogurt on it as well and basically i just find whatever's at target again and right now i've been using this chobani uh greek yogurt the vanilla flavor 
and uh, this is 130 per serving, zero fat. Um, there are some that have like technically better macros, but this tastes pretty good. And uh, for me, all in all, it's a freaking solid breakfast. It's like, I, I eat it all the time. You guys have seen me make this a million times, but highly recommend, try it out. Tell me what you think. The oatmeal is, is all cooked now. That's what it looks like once it's all been cooked up. But the first thing I'll usually throw in is the protein. Um, this is, let's see what flavor is this. This is just the, the regular chocolate. I really like their, they have a strawberry protein. That's really good. Um, it's actually pretty good in this protein with the berries, just because, I mean, you know, strawberries, berries, you know, and then we'll just throw in some salt. It doesn't have to be this fancy pink salt. It can just be regular salt. It doesn't really matter. We'll throw in the sweetener. This is just Splenda. I use three packets. I know some people that's gonna be like, wow, that's way too sweet. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm a sweet guy, so I need sweet oatmeal, okay? And then we're gonna do a serving, or more, probably more, of peanut butter. Well, how much do you think that is? Do you think that's more than a serving? Probably is. That's what's gonna go in there though, okay? Uh, the only thing I weigh out is the oats. Why? Because it's really easy for me to overpour. And then if I have like 100 grams of oats, it is not a fun experience for me. It's just too too much, too much for me. And then you just kind of stir it up, man, you know? Nothing special, you just stir it up. If you want it to be a little less thick, you can add in some water. I'm gonna add in actually two um, ice cubes because this microwave works a lot better than the last one I had and it makes the, the oatmeal a lot more hot. And so um, just throw in two pieces of ice right there. And uh, it'll what, what that will help do is cool down the oats a little bit because they're like really hot. And also it'll make them a little less thick because I don't like when they're super thick. I know some people think that's weird, uh, but you know, that's just how I do it. So we got the, um, the oats are all mixed up. So that's what they look like. Now they're a little less scolding hot. We're gonna add probably about a serving of this yogurt just on top of it. Um, and I like to do this because again, it's another thing that kind of helps cool it down. But it also, I don't know, I just like the taste between the, the, the oatmeal is really sweet and then the yogurt's like kind of less sweet. I wouldn't say that it's sour, like it's not regular Greek yogurt. Regular Greek yogurt, I don't know how people eat it. It tastes like straight up sour cream, y'all are crazy, but <laughs> it's a little less sweet and so it's a good mixture. Um, but that's what it ends up looking like once it's all done. <laughs> It's really nothing special, uh, but I like it and I think it tastes good and uh, it fills me up for a, quite a few few hours and the macros aren't bad on it as well. But yeah, that's breakfast, baby. Let's do it. So food is eaten and now we're gonna be doing something that I've been looking forward to. Uh, so I recently got a Costco membership. I used to shop there a few years ago and then I kind of stopped and I've been shopping at Target. I've brought it up a million times, but I just got a Costco membership a few days ago and today is my first time kind of walking around again and seeing what they have. I'm gonna pick some stuff up and I'll show you what I get. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure there's some of the stuff that I used to get, which I think will be cool to show you guys, but then I think there's some new stuff uh, that will be interesting for me to try. And uh, hopefully it's, you know, interesting and I can show you some stuff that maybe you've never tried before, but let's do it. Costco time, baby. All right, we made it to Costco. I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna go on Tuesday in the middle of the day, it won't be busy. <laughs> I was wrong. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> They already have the uh, Christmas decorations out at good old Costco. That's what's up. If I remember correctly, I used to get like uh, some pretty good like meat here. So <laughs> we'll see. This is some great commentary. This is high level stuff right here. You guys are in the right spot for some good vlogs for sure. Kind of bummed out. One of the things that I came here for was I've been, Real Good Foods, it's a company, they sent me these like chicken like, strip thingies and they had like these different versions and I really liked them. And apparently they have them at Costco and I was actually here a few days ago to get the membership and I just kind of walked around to see what they had and they had them, but today they don't. And that really makes me sad. But that's one thing I remember about Costco was like, it was very like, sometimes they would have stuff, sometimes they wouldn't, so. That's kind of a bummer, but I found some stuff, so we'll see. Kind of like this um, this little chair for the office. I'm thinking about getting it, not right now, because it like reclines and everything, 
but I think it'd be kind of sweet. Let's see, you can't really see me like that. I like reclines. Kind of be chilling in the office like this. I don't know. It matches the colors as well. I'm thinking about it. Not today though. Not today. So we're all done. I I'm not sure how that went. I so this was more of a feel it out kind of. I didn't. There wasn't anything that I like necessarily needed. Maybe that was my problem. I was kind of just walking around and being like, oh, what looks good. And then there were some things that I remember that I used to get back in the day, but we'll go home now. I'll show you what I got. And any of you Costco OGs that have tips, let me know because that was uh, an interesting experience to say the least. Okay, so we are done with our Costco haul. Now, I'm honestly not sure how this went because I know some people be like, I, I shop at Costco and I get enough food for four months for $25. And that's not the case. I will tell you how much I spent and it's a lot more than that. But let me show you some of the stuff that I got. So the first thing, because they didn't have those, that real good foods, like stuff I was looking for, I saw these and I was like, these look interesting. So rotisserie seasoned chicken breast strips and the macros on them aren't too bad. So it's only 3.5 grams of fat, two grams of carbs and 17 protein. So there's a little bit extra. It's not just protein, but not too bad. And I love rotisserie chicken. So we got that and I got this protein. I've never tried it a cent, but it's a good amount of it. It's a, this is a big bag, but this, this was 50 bucks. So this ended up being, so I ended up spending $200. This was like one fourth of the price. So I'm assuming I won't be buying protein every time, but we got that. And then I also got these pure protein things. You get 23 of these for, I think it was like 24 bucks. So it ends up being basically like a dollar a bar, which is not bad. I've definitely spent more. And then we got these grilled chicken patties. I just thought this would be like a super simple like lunch or dinner. Um, they're already cooked. You just kind of like throw it on a uh, bun or something like that, right? And again, the macro is two fat, two, two carbs, 20 protein for, that is one patty and there's 12 in here, right? So that's not bad frozen. You don't have to worry about it going bad. The next thing, I just got these salads. I like these little salad strip thingies. Um, or these little salad, like pre-made salad things. So it's the apple pecan. I can't really buy too many of them because they do go bad pretty quickly. So I just bought two. Um, well, I bought one, but it comes with two. We got that. This right here, these, I remember these from when I used to go and they are, these are so good and they are so helpful. I'm gonna bring these probably to the office with me just so I have them there. Uh, but they're chicken breast burrito bowls right here. And the macros on these, I personally think they're pretty good. And so it's 10 grams of fat, 46 carbs, but I eat a good amount of carbs, and 30 protein. And there's 720 milligrams of sodium, which isn't too bad. I don't really worry too much about sodium because as we said, I sweat a lot, but they, and they just taste really good. You just throw them in the microwave, super easy. I really like these a lot. Um, this was something that uh, I actually posted on my story when I first got the membership, like things that people recommend and someone said these are really good. So sliced grass feed, grass fed beef sirloin. Again, it's already made. And so I don't have to worry about cooking it. I just have to reheat it, which that's, that's the name of the game for me. And then we got, I remember this from back in the day, just grilled chicken strips. Again, just more protein already made. This isn't frozen. so. Um, you can just throw it on like salads, which I'll put on the salads and stuff like that. And the last thing is just this vegetable blend for my stir fries. I really like this. I remember I used to use this all the time when I made stir fries. So I'm excited to have that again. And the last thing I got was just this, um, just got uh, some Pepsi Zero. So that's my haul and it was $200. So I am not the best budget shopper, but we'll learn. It was so busy in there and overwhelming. And so I just, I was like, all right, let me just try and get some things. I tried to film a little bit, but there were so many people in there, but there we go. That's the Costco haul, baby. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> all right, so we're back at the office and I did bring these little uh, chicken burrito bowl guys. I'm gonna put them, there's some um, fridges here. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. So then if I'm ever here and I'm hungry, I have a good option to have. And there's not too many of them, so I don't think they'll go bad, which would suck pretty bad. But now I get to chill in my office and sit 
in front of this computer for the next few hours. <laughs> All right, so I've been here at the office for a few hours. I actually just ate one of those burrito bowls that I got from uh, Costco. It was actually pretty good. We got a video done and everything, and so it's been it's been a good day so far. Um, I just wanted to take this time to kind of expand on this post from Instagram. I'll put it up on the screen. When I posted it, I was just kind of, I was feeling like inspired. And one thing I like about being able to do these vlogs is that it gives me a chance to maybe expand on on these posts. So as you can see by the picture, it's just, you know, me when I had first lost the weight and then me now um, with like the, my loose skin and stuff. And um, the, the caption goes on to say, skin that tells a story. I was almost 400 pounds at one point in my life. It's pretty clear to see that an impact that can be seen by anyone who looks at me. Um, that it has an impact. I, I have a lot of spilling errors. Um, loose skin is the reality of being massively overweight, but shedding the pounds. Regardless of what someone might try to tell you and usually sell you, um, loose skin is not avoidable when losing a massive amount of weight. That's something that I get, gets very frustrating to me is the, the marketing behind loose skin and how people will try and sell you things or tell you that they have certain ways to make loose skin not happen. The fact of the matter is like when you have 100 pounds plus to lose, you're probably going to have loose skin. It's gonna be different for everybody based on your genetics and how old you were when you lost the weight, how long you had the weight on you. There's so many factors, right? But whatever. Um, we all have different amounts based on genetics, the amount of weight lost, age, when the weight was lost, length of time, and an overweight body, as well as so many other factors. I'm not saying this to scare anyone, just share the reality. The photos you see are about seven to eight years apart, and as you can see, my body is slightly different, but the loose skin is still there. Thankfully, for many people, surgery has been super helpful and has helped people with the mental, cell, mental side with dealing um, with loose skin. Personally, for me, I, don't, I have no plans to surgically remove mine, but it is an option for those out there that seek it. At the end of the day, the body I live in now <clears throat> is so much more capable than it was before, and I'll always be thankful for that. Right, and so I was just kind of feeling a little nostalgic. I think I was going through old posts and old photos and old videos, and I've been doing this for a long time. I've had the weight off for a long time, and it's something that I am, I'm, I am really proud of it. I don't bring it up that much, but I do think that it's important um, because at the end of the day, my goal for y'all, and I hope your goal for yourself, is to lose weight and keep it off for good, right? And I think one of the things that has really helped me was, and I'm, this might sound counterintuitive, but was not being super tied to that number on the scale. And what I mean by that is not being super tied to the low number. So many of us that lose weight, we get enthralled and we get like addicted almost. And I think some people, it becomes a disorder, clearly, and some people really struggle with it, but we get addicted to seeing that number go down, 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 right? 300, 250, 200, 150, whatever it might be. We get addicted to seeing that number go down and it becomes this sense of like pride for us because when we see the number go down, we feel validated. We're doing the right thing. This is what I should be doing. And... I understand where I just I understand where that comes from. I get it. But eventually, in your weight loss journey, that feedback loop is going to stop, right? Because either you are going to lose so much weight that you don't need to lose any more weight, which a lot of people end up in that position and then they don't know what to do from there. Or you're just struggling with losing the weight and like you maybe you're slipping up and the weight's not coming off and you start to really beat yourself up. And so I actually had a comment on one of my recent videos that I responded to today. Someone was asking me like, how do I deal with the fear of gaining weight? Because I see that you are not at your lowest, but you haven't gained a ton of weight. But I feel like whenever I put on any weight, I'm gonna like gain all my weight back. And the reality is, is you have to just be very honest with yourself, right? Are you gaining weight because you are doing something that is super unsustainable um, or you're like going out and gorging and just eating way too much? Or is it a little bit of weight that is relatively normal and you're just not being as strict with yourself, which is totally okay, right? And maybe you're lifting, all of these things. Like for me, lifting, there is so much value and I, I found so much value in lifting, 
because it made me not afraid of all the weight gain, right? Like there was good weight to be gained. There's muscle to be built. And that means I am going to weigh more, right? At my lowest, I was 180. Now I'm like 215. And obviously not all of that is muscle. That would be insane. But some of that is muscle. And so like, I don't have this shame or guilt or like, I don't feel bad at all saying that I don't weigh my lowest. I actually feel a sense of pride that I don't weigh at my lowest anymore. And so I just wanted to share that, just expound a little bit on that post. Um, so one of the things I really like about in the vlogs and uh, yeah, I appreciate um, seriously all the support that I've gotten so far and it just, it, it really means a lot to me. And yeah, I'm gonna be here for a little bit more and then I think I might work out tonight at 24 and then maybe I'll show you guys what I eat for dinner. I don't know, we'll see, who knows? All right, so we're back home now, but I'm actually about to leave. Um, I don't always do two a days, so like two workouts in a day, but today I just had the time. Like sometimes if I just have the time, if, if I'm able to get work done a little bit earlier, like it's, it's five o'clock now, I'll go to the gym and I like to go before it gets too late because again, I, I wanna walk the, walk Bailey and um, I don't, I feel bad if I don't. I just feel really bad if I don't give her at least one walk. And so if I do go in the gym later, I usually try and make sure I'm done before the sun goes down so I can come back and give her a walk. But we're just gonna be doing a back day, nothing super special. They don't allow me to film in the gym. So we'll probably just time skip. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry that you don't get to see my back day. I know it's so, it's content that is so important to everybody. Um, but I'll see you guys after. Okay, we were able to do the plan. So I was able to get to the gym, work out, and get home before it got dark. So I'll be able to take the lady out for a walk, which I know that she is uh, really, really looking forward to. And so we got to go do that. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys how excited she gets for this walk. It's like her favorite part of the day. Bailey. <whistles> Bailey. <whistles> you want to go on a walk? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Yeah? Yeah? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to make her wait anymore. <laughs> All right, so tonight we are going to be doing stir fry. I'm sure no one's very surprised, but we're going to be using some of the stuff I got from Costco, I think, uh, just to kind of see what the difference is. And so we're gonna use this stir fry blend that I got from Costco earlier. And then I'm kind of excited to use these rotisserie chicken, the frozen rotisserie chicken that I got as well. Um, I love rotisserie chicken. And so I'm excited to see how this tastes. So I, first, before I start the stir fry in the wok, um, I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer because I've been liking the air fried chicken in the stir fry, it's pretty good. And so we'll throw this in the air fryer for 15 minutes. And then once it's at probably about five minutes, I'll start um, like, stir frying the vegetables and then I'll throw the uh, the rice in the microwave when there's about, I don't know, two minutes left. And hopefully it'll all come together and we'll have a beautiful stir fry. So there's actually a good amount of chicken in this, uh, this bag here. And it smells pretty good. It smells like rotisserie chicken. So you, they say you're supposed to like, preheat the air fryer, but I've never had an issue just throwing in chicken and then putting it on for 15 minutes and then it's fried and perfect. And so that's what I'm gonna do because I'm lazy and I don't feel like waiting for it to uh, preheat. So we'll just throw, I don't know, we'll do like five, like five pieces I think. No, we'll do six. We'll do six pieces in there and get that started. Um, and then we will have to wait a little bit before we start making the stir fry. Okay, so the chicken has been in the air fryer for a bit, so we are going to start the stir frying of the vegetables. So I usually just put it on <laughs> super hot and then I spray it down with some nonstick spray. We've got that on there and then we'll just pour 
a random amount. I don't really know how much, but we'll pour a random amount of vegetables onto this. I think that's a good amount right there. And we will just cook this up for a while until the chicken is ready. All right, the chicken is done in the um, air fryer now. So let's see, <laughs> let's see how it turned out because I haven't looked at it yet and maybe I cooked it for too long, who knows? We'll find out together, so. Oh, you know what, that looks pretty good, right? looks pretty pretty cooked I think it smells really good too it smells like rotisserie chicken Dude, this was a good find today shout out Costco I guess um, but yeah we're gonna this is probably a little little more chicken than I need to be honest but whatever more protein baby let's go <laughs> now this is when I will take this this is just from Target Throw it in the uh, microwave for 90 seconds. So throw that in there. This is getting pretty done. So I'm gonna turn this down to low because I'd say the the vegetables are basically cooked, and I don't. Obviously the chicken's already hot. And then I grab these meat scissors, and we're gonna snip up this chicken right here into like just like little pieces. You know, I usually, honestly, I just cut it in the bowl. I just like go in there and dig at it and just get chunks and cut it into pieces. Get it into some pretty good chunks. Oh, <laughs> we had a piece fly away. There we go. Now we got into little, little chunks. Here's the piece. Tastes pretty good. And, uh, well, as you can tell, that is done. And then we will just throw we will throw this in there, but it's just this orange chicken sauce from Panda Express, but I get it from Target, but the brand is Panda Express. And we will, I try, I don't like to use too much, not cause like the calories or anything, but just too much of the sauce. I'm gonna add more than that. I'm just gonna, my little hack is I put a little bit of water at the end and then I kind of shake it up to get the little last bit of sauce. But I don't like to add too much sauce, not because like calories or anything, but I mean, that could be something if you're worried about it, but um, just too much sauce is just, it's just a little overbearing. And so now we will just kind of mix this together. We got a bowl, we got our rice. We'll take that, pour it in there. Simple, easy. Super easy. I'm gonna turn this burner off before I forget. And then we will take our beautiful stir fry vegetables and chicken and we will just do do do, you know, just put it right on top, just like that, baby. And there you go. You got some stir fry. Don't gotta be hard. Alrighty, and we just added some salt and pepper to the top. There you go. That is the stir fry. You've seen me make it a million times. Um, but that's gonna be the end of the video. I do wanna say, not to be too cheesy, but if you are still here at the end of this long vlog, I assume, um, thanks. I, it means a lot to me. I appreciate that you enjoy the, the vlogs. Um, for those of you that are still here, if there's anything you wanna see, let me know because I am enjoying doing these vlogs and I would love to have stuff that's interesting to you. So just let me know. I'm going to enjoy my stir fry. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.